For those of you that are more musically inclined or like to experiment, there's actually a way for you to create your own loops uh, without using what's built in with GarageBand. So if you click this little new tracks option up at the top left, instead of choosing an audio track, you select the software instrument and then click create. So by doing this, you're going to open up uh, the uh, GarageBand built-in software instruments that you can choose. The, by default, it's going to open up the classic electric piano. You also notice that the controls open up at the bottom and the library opens up as well. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the controls at the bottom. But you can see that it's already added that new track for us. There's nothing there because we haven't recorded, but it's there. You also notice you can choose all kinds of different instruments that you might want to use to record. And then after you choose one, there's subcategories of uh, specific types of that instrument that you can choose to record. So now that you have an instrument you might want to use to create your track, to be able to record, you'll go to Window and then Show Musical Typing. And it's going to open up this kind of keyboard option. And so you'll see here the keys have different letters. So when you hit that letter, on your keyboard, it's going to make the sound of that particular note on the keys. So A, D, and G make those sounds. So you can see that by playing on my keypad, I can actually create notes like they're on a piano. You can also choose a different instrument. You'll get a slightly different sound. So now that you've found the, the instrument you want and you're ready to record, you simply go up and click the record button. But before I do that, I'm going to click the slow solo option here because I don't want to hear these other tracks while I'm recording my instrument. So now that the rest are muted, I hit record. And then I can start playing. When you're done recording, simply hit stop. I'm going to go ahead and close this window, and you can see that now we've created our own loop track. Uh, you can go ahead and now preview that. Go back to the beginning, push play, and listen. And so now what you're able to do is create your own uh, tracks and loops to use from scratch, and you can build your own songs. Also, you might want to use the click track feature that's built in just to kind of help you keep beat if you're doing multiple tracks. But it's a great way to create your own music. Um, and you just click the plus sign to add a new track and create as many as you'd like.